Hey guys, bags are packed, trucks loaded, it's dark outside, be leaving here shortly. But as someone who's lived in Tennessee, Georgia, Florida, but originally was born and raised up north, let me give you my five top tips for traveling in the south. Um, my biggest tip, which isn't one of the five, but the biggest thing to remember is that we're going through a lot of small towns. And the people down here who live in these towns, they have trucks, many have guns, many own a lot of land, and many of them own backhoes. And if they don't have a backhoe, they have a shovel. So if you're a fan of the TV show Yellowstone, you'll know what I mean when I say be nice. They're the Southern people are the most gracious and nice and friendly people in the world. They will bend over to help you. But just remember, they own a lot of land. They can dig a hole. Enough said. All right, my top five pieces of advice to you guys coming down here to the south for the Hot Rod Power Tour. So welcome to another episode of Junkyards and Barn Finds with Sean and I'm Sean. Hey guys, uh, oh yeah, so one, I wanted to kind of do this because I'm from South Florida, well, I'm not from South Florida, I'm from Pennsylvania, but I've lived in South Florida, 200 miles south of Tampa in the Fort Myers area for about 30 years. And I've traveled all over the world, not f just for this, but racing my cars and flying in the Navy and everything else. And so, um, but with this channel specifically, I have traveled all over from here the whole Northeast and everything. So I wanted to kind of give you some ideas for those of you coming from up North to South. And it reminds me of a story. Uh, my family owned a uh, landscape company down here about 25 years ago. And one of my friends drew, he came down, he had never been down here and he goes, Oh, I'll come out with you guys and, and help. And he came out and he, like I said, he's from Pennsylvania and he, lasted about two hours and then he came in and he goes i just drank two gallons of water and i never peed once all right that tells you what you're going to expect so if you're from up north your body may not be adjusted to the heat down here i know you guys think it's hot up north but you're going through number one tennessee and we had a place in tennessee i've also lived in pensacola uh, been through Alabama, lived up in Georgia and Marietta, and I also lived in Macon. So I'm pretty familiar with all these places. There's going to be bugs. There's going to be mosquitoes. Bring some off. Number one, off. You want to bring number off. So my number one tip is to get deep woods off and keep it with you. There will be bugs. Lots of bugs. Um, number two, sunscreen. I don't know how to say it. It's not, I don't care if it's cool or not. I don't care whatever, sunscreen. Put it on and wear it. You need to have sunscreen on. So that's my number two tip. My number three tip. In my truck, I have over 140 bottles of water. Pick up some water. Now, my suggestion is there's 3,500 cars registered. So pick up water on your way here if you're coming from a northern state and just throw it in the trunk. Okay, bottled water is gonna be at a premium. Um, that's number three. Number four, number four tip is, for those of you who are not used to here, there's, there's two things you're gonna to need to know. Number one, it rains a lot. It may rain halfway through the day and then be sunny again. This isn't like up north where it's rainy all day, cloudy for a day, then rainy and then cloudy and then clear. Here, it could be sunny in the morning, become rainy, rainstorm comes through, and then it's hot again. But if you don't have good windshield wipers, you need Rain-X. That's the first thing. You definitely need Rain-X. 
And while we're talking about bugs, so Rain X number one is gonna get the rain off. Mosquitoes off is gonna keep the mosquitoes off you. But we have what's called love bugs down here in the south. And love bugs are these little black bugs. I don't know how northern they go. I know they're all through Florida and they're a little bit in South Georgia, but when you, especially you're hitting that leg from Pensacola all the way down I-10 or however they take us or through Southern Alabama and uh, Georgia, there's these things called love bugs. There's, and it's love bug season. They're these little black bugs. They mate in the middle of everything. There are thousands of them. They don't harm, they don't bite, they don't do anything except land on your car. And if you let that stay on your paint for more than about 24 hours, it will eat into the paint. They got acid in their little bodies. And so what you wanna do is make sure you go out there is, uh, and clean and clean them. Now I use, uh, you can use soap, you can use water, you can use any kind of degreaser. There's also love bug spray. You can get them at car places. If you look it up, there's all kinds of stuff. I suggest you look it up on uh, YouTube or something. Uh, basically, all I use is Dawn. I take some Dawn and I put it on. You will see your car will be splattered with love bugs after 200 miles, and that's fine. Um, but you wanna make sure that you uh, do that. Now, one more thing about bugs. We have what's called fire ants in Florida and South Georgia. If you've never been here, they don't have them anywhere else. Do not, our ants bite. Little black ants in there. Don't let kids run around in bare feet down here. Don't lay in the grass. If you see a hill that looks like a big little mound of sand, it's gonna be, you know, maybe the size of a teacup or something. That's a fire ant hill. Fire ants, their bites are really painful, um, but they also leave a welt. So this is what a fire ant bites look like. See those two welts right there? They're fire ant bites. So if you get fire ants, they will hurt. They attack, once one of them bites, there's like a thousand of them that come out. Um, they're not aggressive, but if you lay on their mound, they're going to bite you. And you'll get a lot of bites. And there are people, it's like a bee sting. Sometimes if you're allergic to them, you don't know it. So, so wear shoes, wear socks, put down, lay on something. If you have a tarp, lay on a tarp. You can put, you know, place wherever you put your chairs, make sure you look down. If you see these hills that are dirt, I don't know how far up they go, but fire ants, make sure you, please, just please. And if you do get fire ants, put peanut, well, I put, we've always put peanut butter on them. So, um, also, uh, there's little, what they call jiggers in the, like sand fleas, jiggers down here in some of the soil. Uh, the deep woods off should keep that off. Deep woods off will not keep off fire ants. So just letting you know. Um, but that, I mean, I'm not trying to scare you. 99.99% .99 of you will never have this issue. I'm just putting it out there so that you're prepared. Uh, the last thing is brake fluid, oil, and a fire extinguisher. Keep a extra thing of brake fluid with you. Keep oil. Um, there'll be plenty of mechanics around everything else. Uh, make sure you have a jug with water or if you have plenty of water um, You're gonna get help if something happens. You'll get plenty of help. There'll be plenty of people helping you, but um, You want to make sure your brakes are good and everything else you're gonna be going through some You know small roads and and everything else and just make sure that your car is controllable check your tires check your tires often um, as somebody who used to race cars and also owned a motorhome and had a blowout that cost me almost $10,000 in my motorhome because one of the inner tires blew out, uh, check your tires. If they're not good, then get a new tire. That's pretty much all I can tell you. If they have a bubble on them, get a tire. If they're bald, get a tire. Um, and it will rain a lot down here, so you're going to need good tires. I don't know. Right now, I don't see any rain in the in the forecast, so I'm hoping that'll be good. But just letting you know, uh, it will rain. Anyway, uh, and have a good time. That's what I plan on doing. I travel all over. I've, I've put 10,000 miles on my truck this year already, just traveling around to doing videos and everything. Um, if you watch my channel, you know I did over 300 videos in one year from here to from south florida through georgia alabama tennessee 
uh, North and South Carolina, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Maryland, Delaware, all that stuff. I've done, I've gone through everybody finding junkyards and old cars. And I'm just going to tell you, take your time, relax. Um, everybody's going to get there. You're going to get there. Don't be impatient. Everybody's from somewhere else. Nobody knows where they're going. So just be patient. Be, you know, if you're in front of somebody's house or whatever, and you it, just be nice to people. Be nice to the locals. We're going through some small towns. These people aren't used to traffic. When you're in a small town, obey a stop sign. We don't need anybody getting in accidents or anything. So if it's a stop sign, stop. Just because you're in a row with 27 of your buddies doesn't mean you get to run a stop sign. So stop, follow the rules, leave a tip. When we go into these places, these people are going to be working their butts off. Tip. Tip nicely. 20%. Don't be cheap. So a lot of these small towns, I mean, these people are hurting. We're all hurting as well. I'm hurting too. Um, you're hurting too. But let's be nice to these people. Let's give them a good show. Let's show off our vehicles. You guys show off your vehicles. And just be nice. You know, the old roadhouse thing. Just be nice. Being nice goes a long, long way. So, all right. So that's my top tips. It's like 10 tips, but basically top five tips. Um, it is the night uh, that I'm leaving. So I am heading out. Um, yeah, I'm heading out. All right, guys. For those of you who don't know what my truck looks like, you can tell it's got Hot Rod Power Tour on the the back it's got our supporters and people who have supported the channel here it's got our big bug here it says junkyards and barn finds on the side it's got two american flags it's got our jybf uh that's buddy buddy was my dog my real dog with buddy and we have uh wrote uh 41 children's books with buddy in them and buddy fe is featured on our uh power tour t-shirt that we have if you want to see that you'll see that or maybe you already saw that uh it's available at our store on any kind of product you want we've got our flag on the side and we've got a big giant what we call the bug on the hood so if you see this truck on i-75 if you see this truck on i-75 and then whatever interstate it is that goes to nashville or driving around so if you see me on the highway tonight uh, or over the next couple days, if you're on the power tour, uh, you really can't miss the fact that we advertise we're on the power tour and stop and say, hey, April, should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one? Probably just for this one. 